Welcome back to the Sports Report Special Edition, the District Draw, Division 4. Your focus now, beginning with the Wapakoneta District. The winner of this one will go south to the Kettering Regional. Coldwater sectional featuring the draw's top seed, Marion Local. As we take a look at those brackets, Flyers take the first round by and will play the early game on Friday the 6th against the winner of Ridgemont Waynesfield Goshen. They just played on WSN Friday, the Gophers getting that NWCC showdown. Sectional semifinals Wednesday the 4th, Pitt Arlington against Ada and Fort Recovery against Mac rival New Bremen. Spencerville, meantime, is the two seed in the district. Bearcats will stay in Allen County as they play at Bath on the 6th against the winner of Minster and Hard Northern, who play the early game Tuesday the 3rd. A late game that night featuring Upper Soda Valley and New Knoxville with third seeded Perry awaiting that winner. We have several of the coaches from this draw in studio. Matt starts off our team coverage. Matt. Thank you, Andy. Joined by Marion local head coach Kurt Guttermiller. Kurt, thank you for making the trip here. And uh, you guys have a good draw. You don't have to travel too far, and you deserve that as the one seed. How do you think it's going to play out for you? Uh, no, I, I was, was happy uh, getting the one seed and, and staying at Coldwater was nice. Um, you know, I think you get a little bit uncomfortable anytime somebody starts penciling you into a district already when you know you, you've got to prepare hard for no matter who you're playing. So we're going to prepare hard for that first game uh, like we would any other. And we know, who, you know, if we are fortunate enough to get to the district, we know it's going to be a very solid district this year. Yeah, a lot of good teams in this district. You, you're playing well right now, won five in a row. You think you're playing your best basketball of the season at this point? Uh, maybe up to this point. We certainly think there's a lot of room for improvement yet. Um, but certainly, you know, we had a bad weekend. Uh, we lost a couple fourth quarter leads to St. Henry and Jackson Center that, that one weekend. Uh, but we've uh, kind of turned the corner a little bit, so to speak. And, you know, we still think there's a lot of room for improvement. So, uh, you know, between now and tournament time, we've got three weeks to, to get better. Yeah, those back-to-back -back losses, did a little bit of doubt creep in, or did the guys have to rally around each other and be like, you know, we're since then you've rattled off those five straight wins. So it seems like they're, you didn't let that doubt get to you if it did arrive. No, I, I don't think there was a lot of doubt. You know, the guys said, you know, let's not hit the panic button here. Um, you know, we lost to two really good teams. Obviously, St. Henry is a top team in Division Three, And then we followed that up the next night with Jackson Center, who's 12-4, and four, and they, they didn't have a game the night before. So... You know, we, we didn't hit the panic button by any means, but we said we've got to go back to work. Those two teams kind of exposed our deficiencies in what we were weak at, and we've gotten much better in, in both aspects since then. You'll have some time to prepare for the tournament with some tough upcoming games. Spencerville, Salina, Rushi still on the schedule. And that Spencerville game is especially interesting because it could be a potential district final. How will you use those games to prepare for the tournament? Well, honestly, we're not even sure uh, when, it, when and if we can make that Spencerville game up. Right, that's kind of yet to be determined. It's supposed to be last night. Yeah. Right, that's right. And uh, playing at the Fieldhouse tomorrow night against Salina is going to be great preparation for tournament. You know, what they do and, and the pressure they're going to bring is the stuff we're going to have to be able to handle in tournament. Uh, and then, you know, Rushi, uh, we played them twice last year. We played them in the regionals. Uh, having to play them Saturday is going to be a difficult challenge as well at their place. So. You know, that's exactly what you want at the end of the year. You want, you know, that tournament preparation. So we're going to get it. And you're another guy with an experienced team. And are they using that loss to Rushi in the regional finals as motivation? And Marion Locals used to winning in all sports. So I got to figure that that has left a little bit of a bad taste in their mouth. Well, we, we actually beat Rushi. Then we lost to Tri Village. Oh, no, excuse me. I'm sorry. Tri Village. Tri Village. Correct. And in that regional, you know, whoever comes out of our district, that's a loaded regional. Tri-Village has everybody back. Troy Christian is very, very good. And Rushi, those three teams were in right. it last year with us. And we all have most of our pieces back. But then you talk about teams like Spencerville and New Bremen and, and many of the other teams in our district that could get there. And then you, and you, you talk about some other teams. It is a loaded Southwest regional. So that's what makes it fun and you know we're just we're hoping to do the best we can and kind of let the chips fall where they may. Well, like you said it's going to be fun to watch it play out. Thank you for taking the time with us here. Thanks. Andy is with another head coach. That's right Kevin Sensabaugh the aforementioned Spencerville Bearcats getting the 2C currently NWC uh, co-leaders one loss in the loss column so a good chance at that as well. Lots to focus on the rest of the regular season, but as yeah. today comes, what does this day mean for you as a coach? You get to strategize, you get to look through the brackets. It's exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, it's always exciting. This is a good day. And, you know, I immediately when the when the draw was over, I, I took a picture of it and sent it to the players and the <laughs> players all commented on it. So, you know, it's an exciting day and, and, uh, and the guys are ready for the tournament run. But 
we really got to refocus on the rest of this regular season. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But first, the bracket itself, about what you expected with the new format, you know, throwing all the teams in a hat and then picking one through, what is it, 12, 11? 13 in ours. But, yeah, okay. I mean, it, it, was, it went pretty much as I expected. I mean, I knew that, you know, us being the 2C, we obviously had to be separate from Marion Local. And then, you know, I, I knew Perry would, would pick the spot that they did. After that, there was a few surprises in my book. But, you know, I don't know what those coaches are thinking necessarily <laughs> either. So I just, you know, I, I, don't, I don't put a great deal of, like, emphasis on, on the brackets. I know where we want to go. And, sure. I, and that's, you know, we just let it play out from there. So. It, it was interesting. It was fun, and, and, and like it is every, every, every year that we do this, and our kids are excited about it. We talked early in the season, uh, and you talked about trying to find that identity. Ben Bowers graduated, that sure. he was the leader of this team. It seems like you've started to find it at Winners of Eight of your last nine games. Yeah, and, and that was really kind of an adjustment. I mean, I, I knew it would be an adjustment, but it was even bigger than I even anticipated, and, and kind of finding, uh, you know, finding out who we were and how we were going to uh, defend and how we were going to get points and, and you know there was a lot of things that we all had to figure out and, and it took us a while you know honestly until about January 1st until we started to finally start playing a little bit better as a team but as of late we've started to pick it up and play really well so hopefully that continues. What did you see as the difference? Did, did one or two players really step forward vocally or, or what was it? Uh, I think one of the main differences was that you know we kind of um, found some roles for some of our players. I think uh, one of the guys that, that has really stepped up and played well for us is Damian Corso. He, he's kind of unsung. He doesn't score a bunch necessarily, but, um, you know, he's kind of become our defensive, you know, stopper, and, and, and we didn't really have that uh, before, and, and it's made a huge difference for us. And fortunately, I, putting him in the starting lineup, um, you know, somebody had to come out of the starting lineup, <laughs> and, and uh, Mason Nurse did that for us, and he has not, he has not missed a beat. He mm -hmm. hasn't pouted. He's accepted the role. He's done what's best for the team, and we were very proud of him for that, and, and uh, it's helped everybody. So that's what, that's what a good team does. You know, you accept your role and, and do the best that you can do, and, and our guys have done that. Finally, an exciting end of the regular season. We mentioned earlier, LCC Tuesday. That will be on WSN. New Bremen, who you could meet down the road sure. at the district level, and then Lincoln View for the you know, possible NWC championship there. Just a great two weeks ahead. Yeah, it's, it's going to be exciting, and our guys are excited for it. I know they're, they're, they're excited to play LCC on Tuesday night. Uh, you know, but it's it's going to be a heck of a ride, and none of those <laughs> games are going to be easy. So obviously, it's uh, it's going to be fun, and our guys uh, are going to have to get ready to play. All right, Kevin Sensabaugh, two seed for the Spencerville Bearcats, and Matt Finkel as the three seeded coach. Matt, that's right. I'm joined by Perry head coach Matt Tabor. Coach, very competitive district. How do you feel as the three seed? Uh, it's it's different territory for us. Uh, we've we've always been chasing, and this year we let teams chase us. So it was an interesting, you know, draw today, and and it's good. It's good to be the three seed. And you just mentioned this is the sixth different site in the last eight years for Perry. So you're used to playing all over, a little close to home here at Bath, and maybe a matchup with USV, who you just had a big overtime win against. That could be an interesting first matchup for yeah, you in the it, sectional final. It was nice, you know, get to play in our backyard a little bit. Um, Bath, we're familiar with that. We play there every other year. Um, and uh, USV or New Knoxville, I think either team can win that. Um, we're going to prepare for both teams. Um, obviously, we still have regular season games we like to play out, but whoever whoever we play, we'll be prepared for. Having a great season, started 0-3, then rattled off 14 straight. What changed there? What happened? Well, I think we're real young. And the biggest thing is trying to learn how to win. And all those, the three games, we lost by a combined 14 points. So it was not like we were getting, you know, slaughtered or anything like that. And we just tried to keep the uh, kids' confidence up. And um, we got that first win under our belt with our young group. And it, they just kind of started to snowball from there. The winning streak got snapped against Miller City. Did you learn something about your team in that game, just remembering, oh, yeah, like this isn't going to be as easy as it has been the past month or so? Yeah, that was a good game for us uh, in terms, you know, you never like getting beat, but you can get beat by 20 on top of that. But I think it brought us back to a little reality. It was a good reality check for our kids um, to show that we can still lose and that we have to be prepared every night. It doesn't matter who you play. And Miller City is a very well-coached team very fundamental, very physical, and we learned that that night. So I think that that will help us, you know, later down the road. It's been a milestone season for senior Jared Poling. He became the school's all-time leading scorer, but he's not healthy right now. What's his status? Well, he's, you know, day by day, and that's the big thing with Jared. Um, he, he, he'll get there. Um, we're getting him through some things. Uh, he's never really had to face 
um, injury. And uh, it's something new to him. It's something new to our basketball team with the injury. But he'll get through it. He'll get to 100% here very soon, and we'll be ready. What's the one area you want to see your team improve the most between now and when the tournament gets started? I think defense. Defense is always the biggest thing. We know that defense uh, wins championships. Our defense won the championship the other night for us against Upper Side of Valley. But we still need to get better in the half-court defense. I think if we continue to improve in the defense and rebounding, that will help us on a nice little tournament run. Well, best of luck to you, Coach Shaver. Thanks for stopping by.